I would like to tell you about a project which I started about 16 years ago, and it's uh, about making new forms of life. And these are made of this kind of tube, electricity tube, we call it in Holland. And uh, we can start a film about that, and we can uh, see a little bit backwards in time. Eventually, these beasts are going to live in herds on the beaches. Theo Janssen is working hard on this evolution. I want to put these uh, forms of life on the beaches, and they should survive over there on their own in the future. Learning to live on their own, and it will take a couple of more years to let them walk on their own. The mechanical beasts will not get their energy from food, but from the wind. The wind will move feathers on their back, which will drive their feet. The beast walks sideways on the wet sand of the beach, with its nose pointed into the wind. As soon as it walks into either the rolling surf or the dry sand, it stops and walks in the opposite direction. Evolution has generated many species. This is the Animaris currens ventosa. This is a herd, and it is built according to a genetical code, and this is a sort of race, and each, any, every animal is different, and the, the winning code will multiply. This is a, a wave going from left to right, you can see in this one. And now it goes from, yes, now it goes from left to right. And this is a new generation, a new family, which uh, is able to store the wind. So th the wings pump up air in lemonade bottles, which are on top of that. And, um, and they can use that energy in case the, way the wind falls away and the, the tide is coming up, and they still have a little bit of energy to reach the dunes and save their lives, because they are drowned very easily. I could show you this animal. Thank you. So the proportion of the tubes in this animal is very important for the, 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 the walking. There are 11 numbers, which are called the 11 holy numbers. These are the distances of the tubes, which makes it walk that way. In, in fact, it's a, it's a new invention of the wheel. It works the same as the wheel. The axis of a wheel is uh, staying on the same level, and this hip is staying on the left, same level as well. In fact, it is a better than a wheel, because when you try to drive with your bicycle on the beach, you will notice it's going very, very hard to do. And, this, and this, the, the feet just step over the sand, and the wheel has to touch every piece of the ground in between. So 5,000 years after the invention of the wheel, we have a new wheel. And I will show you in the next video. Can you start it, please? The very heavy loads can be moved. There are some, there's a guy pushing there behind, but can also walk on the wind very well. It's 3.2 tons. And uh, this is uh, working on, on the distorted wind in the bottles. He has a feeler when it can feel obstacles and turn around. In the next shot, you see it's going to the other way.
Gonna have to feel her here. Okay, <laughs> good. So they have to survive all the dangers of the, of the beach. And one of the big dangers is the sea. This is the sea. And it must feel the water of the sea. And this is the water feeler. And what's very important is this tube. It, uh, it sucks in air normally, but when it's, it, it swallows water, it feels the resistance of it. So imagine that the animal is walking towards the sea. As soon as it touches the water, it should, you should hear a sort of sound of, of running air. Oh. Yes. So, if it doesn't feel, it's, it's well we drowned, okay? Here we have the brain of the animal. In fact, it is a step counter, and it counts its, the steps. It's a binary step counter. So, as soon as it has been in, to the sea, it's it changes the pattern of zeros and ones here, and uh, it knows always where it is on the, on the beach. So it's a very simple brain. It says, well, there's the sea, there are the dunes, and I'm here. So it's a sort of imagination of the simple world of the, the, the beach animal. Thank you. One of the biggest enemies are the storms. This is a part of the nose of the Animaris percipier. And uh, when the nose is fixed of the animal, the whole animal is fixed. So when the storm is coming up, it drives a pin into the ground. <laughs> and the nose is fixed, the whole animal is fixed. The wind may turn, but the animal will turn all his, his nose into the wind. Well, another, another couple of years, and these animals will survive on their own. I still have to help them a lot. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>